Goga sir, now let's talk about the MUS. Now, now NEET PG 24 was in some way a different exam. And uh, we are very clear about the things that are required to crack an exam. So I'll just rapidly go through the things that you must have if you want to get selected. Conceptual and clinical learning. We have been talking about it from the day one that this and this will always form the two legs of the preparation. So if you are very good in concepts, but you are weak in PYQs, PYTs, maybe you would not get selected. If you're very good in PYQs, PYTs, maybe you get, will get 70% or 60% uh, marks, but probably that 80, 90 uh, percentile you would not be able to reach. So these two are very important. Okay, sir, what about the conceptual learning thing? Uh, in the need, especially in the light of the exam, like need P24. Uh, so this was the core since the beginning, uh, not only this year. So every time concepts are definitely required. I commonly say that uh, although the common questions are repeated, PYQs or PYTs are repeated every year. But even for remembering those things, because mm. there will be thousands. Mm. So you cannot remember thousand, five thousand facts like that. Right. So only if you have concepts. So yesterday I was talking to one of the students. I was taking the interview. Mm. Uh, he said that uh, this uh, concept is like a story. Mm. Yeah? Mm. So we cannot remember the facts, thousand facts, but we can remember the thousand stories. So this story is going like this. Then obviously the fact will be remembered. So remembering the facts is the final thing you need to do. But for that, you need to understand the concept. So only then you can answer anything and you are going to be a doctor obviously later on you are you will be practicing so if you do not understand how a disease is manifesting or what is happening inside the body so how will you treat a person so the concepts are the foremost important in fact yesterday i was doing an interview with sir and the student told me that he was following you and person from second year he made a very interesting statement i think he was keshav or someone he said that goga uh, sir and person's lectures were like a web series to me because you know, they were so easy to remember and that is what you are talking about that if your concepts are strong even the facts become easier to remember otherwise how many facts can you remember right so that's a very important point sir i was talking to rishita yesterday i was checking her interview she got ranked where she's from him Rishikesh. this is what she stressed upon a lot that i made a structure and i then stuck to that structure no matter what would happen i would stuck to that structure and she was very disciplined she said that i divided my course into three parts completed the first part on the date when it was decided and you know no matter what did not let go of discipline so structure and discipline how much is it important so this is what i feel the change was there this year what i was telling earlier that every year i get a message one or two message that i have significant improvement from the last year mm. but this time it was 70 80 students which i have already got mm. so i feel this was the main reason of that difference mm. that the students have got the structure and the discipline mm. so obviously for getting any improvement you need to have a proper plan. Mm. So how will you go about? Mm. And you need to stick to that plan. Mm. That means discipline. Mm. So consistency, discipline, structure. So these are the pillars. Right. So if a student can stick to these things, right. then why he will not improve? Right. So that is the basic. Again, sir, another big hit. I mean, whether we talk, we're talking to Vabha who got rank one or people who got rank 2000, everybody said that the MCQ practice helped them a lot. And most of them use our late night PYQ sessions. So MCQ practice has always been a core of it. And as Dr. Zainab sometimes says that the art of solving MCQ is as important as the content. So sir, sir what, what about MCQ practice? So the basic thing is uh, finally you have to give MCQ exam. So howsoever strong your theory may be, but if you cannot apply that during the MCQ, so you will not get the desired rank. Correct. So that is the very important thing. And uh, theory and MCQ usually are not in sync. Mm. Yeah? I know a topic very well. Mm. Suppose I miss only one line out, out of that. And in MCQ, that line is asked. Mm. Yeah? So when you solve the MCQ, number one, you will find that what is important in the theory. Mm. And number two, you many times find the things ke how to solve the MCQ. Right. Like uh, many times you can answer the MCQ just by excluding the options. Yeah. Right. Like in the pharma also, this year uh, some difficult questions were asked. Mm. But if you see that out of the four, one option you sure should know that this is the answer. Mm. So you can obviously exclude three options. Yeah. And sometimes you can exclude three options and then you can come to answer. Yeah. So that will come only when you practice MCQs. GTs, Goga sir has been saying this for last five years, that if you make a mistake in the GT, it's good. Because you are not going to make the same mistake in the actual exam. Goga sir, GTs. 
so before going to gts we commonly say there are three pillars for clearing the entrance exams the first one is obviously the concepts of the theory and second one is the mcqs and third is the gts so you need to have balance of all three. so you cannot uh, get a great rank by excluding any one of these okay? number one obviously your concept should be good you should know the topic and second you have plenty of mcq practice now both of these things are done but important thing is next practice you go for a big match you go for world cup but you have not practiced enough correct okay? so how will you perform well in the actual exam so gts please please consider gts as the actual exam mm. so i was just taking the interview of a student today mm. uh, he has improved from 70000 to 53 mm. from 70000 he has got 53 rank and he was saying that when i gave the gts mm. i considered that it was the actual exam mm. and in the actual exam many times what we do we do not get acs mm. we do not get good seats mm. so what i used to do i had a broken chair in my room mm. i sit on that chair i switch on my fan and then i appeared for the gt wow. and three hours i give the gt continuously so that type of dedication is required so simulating the actual exam situation no break, no tea, no coffee, no phones, yes. doing the GTs as you would appear for the actual exam. All right. Now, many students are very disheartened that, you know, they did, they did study, they did hard work, but things did not go according to their uh, uh, expectations. Now, there are certain things like, uh, was normalization done properly? Was there many irregularities? We do not know about those things. So, there's no point talking a lot about those things. But I think we have to analyze what went wrong. If, if you are a student who studied well, but could not get a good rank, could not get a good result, uh, what went wrong? So was it that your concepts were not very strong? Some students tried to, you know, just uh, remember PYQs and they did not do so well in the uh, conceptual questions. Some of them made the other mistake, Uga, sir. They went too much into conceptual learning to the extent that they could not complete the course. So that could be another mistake. Revision, the quintessential part of any entrance exam. Are you the one who could not revise it? Some students make the grave mistake of not taking the PYQs or PYTs seriously. And then there are students who did everything right, but they became too anxious and made silly mistakes. Probably they did not revise the MCQs or did not practice the MCQs and GTs properly. So you'll have to identify what exactly went wrong. Until unless you analyze what went wrong, how would you correct it? So, so see, I can understand the disappointment. So the, the chances of making corrections in your mistakes and getting something beautiful, something great are, is right, right next to you, right? So Jigoga sir, analysis, so important. So that's what uh, we, uh, we particularly want to stress upon. Number one and the most important thing is just accept whatever has happened. Let, do not remain in denial mode. Let, still, I have seen many students, they are saying that Supreme Court may case kar dete hai, ye kar dete hai, kar dete hai. We have seen many times students doing this type of things, but uh, finally nothing happens. Mm -hmm. yeah? So you can do obviously, if you want to make peace with the mind, then what you want to do, But uh, the only problem will be you are wasting your own time. Mm -hmm. yeah? So next exam is going to come. If you have two months in it, then you will have lesser time. So this is number one, you should accept, please accept and try to find out what is the problem. Do not try to find out what the problem in the system. The system is problem, it will stay the Try to find out where you faulted at, where you can improve. Whatever is controllable, it's very important. If you are controllable, you can control it. So, uncontrollable, you cannot control obviously. So, that's why we have made some points. There may be many others. So, you can add on and find out what is actual problem which you faced why you did not get the desired rank. So, it is not possible that there is no reason and you did not get. There must be some reason. So, try to find out that one of these most likely will be present and many times more than one of these. So try to find out what is the actual problem, what went wrong. So please focus on the control labels, right? That is, that is extremely important to focus on the control labels. All right. This is something that we were discussing. Goga sir talked about a student who went from 1.7 lakh to 3,000. Yeah. He talked about 70, almost 70 such students. Now, not as many, but there are stories, sir, that girl went from 50,000 to 99. Yeah. So this, this girl, 50,000 rank last time, 99. And then 70,000. 72,000 to, to 98. 98. That 98. is the precise thing. And then rank 9. Yeah. She went from 94 to rank 9. Yeah. So something like from 94,000 to 9. Right. So, I mean, these stories are amazing. 
but they are a bit rare but these stories are you know they are full of examples there are so many examples that we have so things can change pretty quickly say somebody who got 90000 rank or 70000 rank today those who got 70000 rank or 90000 rank what is their state of mind they are thinking that they are completely useless they are thinking that they know nothing they are very despondent very sad if you tell them that you can get rank 9 in the next exam they would laugh at you but my dear students these things happen i i sometimes you know uh, like using that phrase that sometimes beyond the logic magic happens this is magical this is simply magical by logic nobody can say that you can go from 70k to 9 but these things happen and that is why please don't give up things change pretty quickly the template of cracking an entrance exam is an open secret but still it is very difficult to follow so irrespective of what your rank is whether you got 1.5 lakh whether you got 50000 whether you got 90000 you can get under 1000 that is a given this is what gogasar was also stressing upon if we ensure that we take care of this slip Thank you.